What's good, y'all? This is another R and P react, and flexed. we are reacting to a new Jubilee video. Yes, this sir. is middle. Uh, no, this is like I forgot what they usually call this segment. Uh, down the middle. Down the middle, yeah, and then yeah. this is uh, basically what do black people think of white people, and we're gonna go. It's gonna be a. Doozy. I went to a school <laughs> that was predominantly black when I was growing up. And okay. when I first saw the first white kid, I was like, what is that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, All right. Okay. She not too much older. She our age. <laughs> so come on now. What are we really doing here? She looked nervous, the white girl. around people who aren't my race. Three. Uh, <laughs> oh, brother in the back was cooking. Oh, I would have to authentically be yourself and I agree. Really agree, not yourself. strongly, but I agree. You yeah, should be for a reason sure. for you to act any different. Yeah, for me, I guess it's like um, within well, the confines. White people don't have to. <laughs> white people don't have to, have to a degree. To <laughs> I think everybody does to a degree. Because if you show up to a um, a meeting talking like this, they're like uneducated got it they'll use the slang to sell the products and to tweet and to get the clicks yeah. and stuff but like yeah. as soon as a worker's yeah. there who's authentically from the area and talking like people from the area it's like ooh, we don't like that yeah you, you can't know, pull up with like, the well, baltimore yang on the you can't do it like, I don't like iron iron you can't do it man. a lot of the areas of work it's like you, you almost work. have to like i knew he was gonna say something to be like i'm a robot i'll like you know shoot your shot i love your company you know it's sick it's sick but you have to get you know like i feel like code switching is one part but also like there's certain parts in my own community that aren't accepted that when I'm around different people that look like me, I can express myself differently. Like, I feel like if mm, I. Yeah, they did not hire her better. I get a little slack for it from my no, side. They didn't hire her either. She's, hers is just high up. Yeah. She don't got pockets. I like, oh. <laughs> I like tech music. I like, you know what I'm saying? See, for me, I feel like it has nothing to do with race. It more has to do with just being professional. Like, if I'm at work, then I'm obviously going to be a little more proper, you know, yeah, a little fair. bit less slang and all of that, and just more careful with my rhetoric. But I don't think it, it has just to do it with just race. means the only thing I work what's the say demographic you work with, media. and so if I'm the if everybody you worked with looked like you, would you still in. have those same like that feelings? That said, it's like when I'm around other black mm, people because yeah, I'm a Republican. Uh, sometimes they tend to be really standoffish with me or think that I don't understand the culture and all this different stuff. So sometimes I to feel it out like are these people who are just gonna call me an uncle tom or are these people like i can actually just keep it all the way real with so that's the only time i, I feel know. like i act different You're a little pandering because you know, it's like he, yeah he remind me of uh uh niggas of waverly place oh <laughs> no that's crazy i just i just feel like it like this i feel like everybody black white hispanic um asian latino like i feel like anybody can have these feelings of like when people are around who you may not know is a part of your culture or not, there are some things that you probably do conceal of yourself. Maybe not even out of shame, just but just out of like, I'm not sure what everybody here is comfortable with. And so, because yeah, yeah. you can even do that to where you are overly comfortable with a group of people who look like you. And then they might not share the same things. That could right. be a little awkward, but it's not like the end of the world right. where like... <laughs> Let's say, because I knew people who, I knew people who had, like, lunches from their culture that they would bring to school, mm -hmm. and people would make fun of them for it. Like, it oh. would smell weird. You'd be like, what is, what did you eat? And, like, what is right, that? Right, right. And they pro and then I think they stopped bringing a lunch in, mm -hmm. or they maybe stopped eating it in the lunchroom. Right. And does that come down to... Like, if everybody was from that culture, would that have happened the same? No, definitely. They would have been like, oh, you, you eating that? Oh, well, I'm eating this. And try, it's like... Trying to trade. Yeah. yeah, yeah versus yeah. people not from your culture, there's some things that just maybe feel a little embarrassing I, to I, deal with. I kind of agree. Like, questions, questions that you feel like are... Something that you just don't feel like answering, answering question yeah. on. Yeah, you just want to you just yeah. want to eat. You just yeah. want to sit and do your thing. I kind of agree with doing the green. It's more so just like I'm at work mm -hmm. and I don't know how these kind of piggybacking on what you said too. I don't know how these people, regardless of race per se, but mm -hmm. I don't know how these people react to me being who you are fully just yeah. chilling myself so i'm just gonna yeah. be but that could be a mix is that being yeah, fake that, though is yeah well it could it fake? could be a mix of things it could be you wanting to be like how um the other gentleman said you putting your professional foot forward mm -hmm. but it could also be like 
it would the same professional foot be it if like if you worked in a place that was all Hispanic people, mm-hmm. would you put the same foot forward that you would if the place was if the place you worked at was all white people? Right. Or if the place was all black people, if right. the place were all Asian people, right. like are those the same professional foot forward or are each of those a different professional foot? Because I feel like maybe I've never been in this situation, but I feel like maybe if I was working in a predominantly black like business, mm-hmm. I think some things that I don't do in my job currently, I would maybe feel out to see if this is appropriate here versus wouldn't even attempt it. I, yeah, I, yeah, I would obs- I would observe what was okay and what yeah. was more than I would at my current place of work. Yeah, because you you would just assume all this is off limits. Yeah, right. Versus there, you might be like, there might be some leeway because everybody looks like me. They might have yeah, the same experience so as me. I would be more, yeah. oh, I'll observe and then see how it goes, whereas yeah. at my current place of work, I'm not like that. But as a leftist, and I honestly feel like I've definitely benefited from being able to be in spaces where I've been able to be authentically myself, and I definitely think that's a privilege, especially where I like grew up is just like something that's regularly happening that people have to go through. But personally, I think I've been able to, especially now in a business side and now my ne- new workplace, I feel like I don't have to adapt my language to make people like respect me or understand where I'm trying to come from, you know? At what point is it like, damn, we can't even really Do have not. conversations without buttoning up and being like, oh, this is how we, we have to ha- talk like this because so they'll listen or like regard us as But do you people. think that's racial or do you think that's I just... I think, I don't know that it's, I don't know that it's, because I'm right, I know where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen you. We've seen I know, I, I think, you know, I know exactly where you're going. I don't think it's intrinsically rooted in race, but I think just the way the social genetic makeup of people are, I think just by way of people of I specific races shirt. speaking a certain way or being perceived a certain <laughs> I way. I know I'm just, ugly. <laughs> I don't know what, it tends what else to, to say, but. be more <laughs> often than not rooted in race based off of like urban black Americans. Yeah. I think most people have barriers they put up when they Oh, well, not the white man. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't do that. I went on disagree instead of strongly do disagree he look, because like. He ca- I like his look. He's like a video like game. Is that Grant Grossin? Someone of a race. I was about to say. Like yeah, at first cool. I'm pulled that's, back, that's but old once I Timothy get comfortable with them, the walls come down and then... <laughs> that's 35-year-old yeah, Timothy Shell. Nah, his fit kind of crazy. Really I like it. <laughs> He's like an uh, Alan Wake-esque. Shooting music videos. Adult Danny fan. So I really need to basically adopt myself to become a black person. So for me, it's not a problem like meeting new races. He said he has it. I oh, I was, like, say, wh- I was like, why do you have to do that? People? Do you think adapting yourself to those different ethnicity, ethnicities my is boy, like something that's conversation. required like to um, foster like a successful relationship? Like I would say it's really more for your survival because you know like if you are the only white guy on like on set and like there's like people with like guns and stuff and you know you just really need to like fit in and just be chill with it. Mm-hmm. You're from the Ukraine, right? Time up. All black people have guns on stage. Don't do that. I, he, he said he's shooting music videos in the hood. He said that? Yeah, that's that's what he says he, do, he does. You're safe for now. Because <laughs> I, I was going to say, without that stipulation there, that was a little yeah, wild. Yeah, because I but, didn't hear the music But video with part. the stipulation. You sure he said that? I've been shooting music videos in the hood. So I really You're need to now, basically adopt You're myself to become a black person. So for me, it's not a problem like meeting <laughs> new races. See, I the was, like, black girl, see, Rick. I was wrong. I thought he said didn't, but he said I need to adopt myself to be a black person. Oh, he did say he needs to adopt. I don't think he needs Yeah, you could just be chill. Yeah, you don't have to be black to hang out. I feel like... I would say it's really... He's using... I feel like he's using the wrong words. I feel like... And I could be wrong, but I feel like black people, not all the time, but a lot of times, are the only group, excuse me, are the only like group of people that you can really just be yourself and we probably might still accept you unless you're just an asshole. I feel uh, like, I feel like most, I feel like that's most then. groups. I feel like okay. it was during, I feel like in today, I feel like that's today, most yeah. groups. Yeah, that's fair. Today. And historically, you are correct. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, But I, at least in America. 
Yeah, we don't. We talk about America. Places, yeah. Um, obviously because like um, you know, corner stores, seven like seven like mm-hmm. gas stations run by people who don't look like us. Mm-hmm. We're able to thrive. We were we we gave them money with no problem or issue where at, at that time if you opened a store in a predominantly white neighborhood but you weren't white mm. there might have been some be some discrepancies yeah. some we're not gonna buy gas from here or buy stuff from here even though it's cheaper because we could just go down to someone that, that we like yeah and 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 buy from them so yes historically <coughs> for your survival because you know, like if you are the only white the guy black lady on, like, not having it, on though, set, like and said. like she, she there's like delicious. people with like guns and stuff, and you know you just really need to like fit in and just be chill with it. Mm-hmm. You're from the Ukraine, right? Do you feel like being like not having grown up with American culture as a whole, and then yeah. especially oh, he's not, not from yeah, yeah. subcultures? Yeah. That makes sense. Do you feel like that's influenced the way you move when you're moving between our subcultures? my like mentality is kind of mixed because like from the age of like 13 i really started to learn to learn english from that i really learned a lot like i really got the american like mentality more and basically like my mentality is like mixed because like in uh, ukraine if uh, if we see a black person we call them the n-word mm-hmm. and from our side it's not offensive. Like we say it not from a offensive way, but some people can because you know, like. He- huh? Wait, they do what in Ukraine? <coughs> you mean to tell me I put that dumbass banner on my Facebook <laughs> page, and y'all calling us n words out there? I gotta look this up. I mean, feel free to cut this until I get my answer. Why do they hate us so much, Rick? What do we do? What does he mean by the N word? That's what I. Is he, does he mean you like Negro? He mean. You knew what he mean. Rick, look at me. I'm not looking Rick, at look you. Rick, look at me. You know what he mean. He mean the hard R. The neighbor. You neighbors. So it's like the Ukrainian word N-E-H-R mm-hmm. is widely used in his native, uh, nativized loan word from French, which is negrir, which is negro itself. Um, nativized from the word Spanish negro. So basically they're calling this black as in the color black. But not their word for the color black, but the Rick. French word from the color black, which also is the French word that they use to call us the other word. Rick, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be one ten with you. I don't think that's what he meant. I don't think because he would have said that. He just he started learning English at thirteen. I don't think that's what he meant. You don't see any you know black person there. I can understand that because I went to a school that was predominantly black when I was growing up. And when I first saw the first white kid, I was like, what is that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's so, like, it was a white girl with my red hair. And I was that's like, so crazy. I've never seen this before. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, I, <laughs> you never, wait, wait. I can understand it the opposite way, but them brothers was on every TV show that's you liked. What I'm saying, so. You seen unless cartoon you versions watch, of them? Unless you was watching BET every single day. Yeah, you seen cartoon nice. versions of them? You seen real life yeah, version like, of them? Stop. You seen them on the news? You seen them in the White House? It's very you seen them in Congress? To not see you seen them in history books? You wasn't like, oh, what is... Unless you yeah. were a child. And even then, you still had an idea. You've seen yeah. white people before. Let's yeah. not. She was just trying to disrespect you, I think. No, she was trying to connect with them. Then you're going to try your best to adapt to that, to our culture, to be like, okay, hey, I get along with you. This is my way of like telling you like, hey, this is, I'm like extending an olive branch basically. So yeah. Personally, not to sound triggered, but I just don't like the notion that you're becoming a black person by pretending to be hood or adopting a hood mentality because not all black people are hood, not all black people are ghetto. I understand what you're trying to say, and I don't know if it's a language barrier, so I don't want to like come at you like you're saying something racist, but I just Uh, really am anti-black people. You threw it out there. (laughs) Hey, brother, it's already out there. You threw it out there already. Afro-Americans 
out there. Yeah, it, it's a language totally barrier. Like depends on like where you grew up in. Also, if you are hood and ghetto like me, you can also be all those things too. White people also <laughs> experience yeah, that's true. race. I've been in a RP mood, eh? Oh yeah, oh yeah, eh? Oh yeah, oh yeah, eh? RP moves, RP news, eh? Yeah, now we making RP moves, eh?